We're fortunate to live in a time where there are medications to treat many different types of problems. But then you can possibly run into issues like accidentally over medicating with different prescriptions that they have the same type of ingredients. So to get answers, I went to Care Pharmacy in Danville and found out first the type of conditions that are medicated the most. About 70% of my prescriptions are in some way related to pain management. Um, these days, it looks like almost everybody is in pain, uh, from a pediatric all the way to uh, elderly. They either have some kind of pain. Go to a dentist, you have a uh, pain after the procedure. Uh, the elder one, they have arthritis. Even the, some of the younger, 30, 40 years, they have a, uh, arthritis pain or fibromyalgia. So almost 60, 70% of our patients are from pain management. And we, we understand the pain is real to them, mm -hmm. and we, try, we help them by choosing the appropriate dosage form, uh, try to avoid some of the side effects associated with them, uh, and then call the doctor, see if we can make any suggestion uh, or recommendation to make the changes. And speaking of the different dosage forms, I assume too that you must get people in here that are dealing with more than one form of pain. You know, what about all the different type of medications and the side effects conflicting with each other? Well, let's take a, uh, let's say neuropathic pain. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes the patient will end up paying four or five different type of medication to control each neurotransmitter. Uh, in those cases, uh, they end up having sometime inter uh, drug interaction or have unwanted side effects. Um, we can help the patient by either reducing the dose in some way or we can customize the dosage that uh, apply directly to the site where it hurts. And that's a fascinating thought because you have some gel here and, and that's how you do it, right? I mean, what if it's like head pain though? Do you like literally rub it on your head? Well, we have uh, one case we did. Uh, uh -huh. I recommend uh, a topical gel that applies straight on the forehead. Oh, but it was specifically for that condition. I wouldn't recommend for everyone unless uh, we, uh, you know, they come and talk to us and then we uh, make some suggestions. And what about acetaminophen these days? There's a lot of question about that. You know, is that something you can remove? Uh, that's a very good question. Acetaminophen causes more harm, uh, I mean, in liver damage than it was previously thought. So FDA has put gu new guidelines to reduce uh, acetaminophen. We can uh, make the dosage form without acetaminophen or minimize uh, the acetaminophen in the capsule form or liquids, which the doctor is, uh, wants to have it. And that's a fascinating thought. You know, if you have some bottle of acetaminophen sitting on your shelf at home, is that something, if it's an old bottle, that you might need to look into and throw out? Um, it, it, sometimes it's at a higher dose, of like 650 milligram mm -hmm. uh, over the counter. And when they buy a prescription item, it also has sometimes 650. You add up, uh, you end up getting a lot more than what is uh, FDA has recommended for uh, daily dose. So in those cases, we can uh, help them by eliminating acetaminophen. And we were just talking about using a gel form. You have also other forms that people have issues with swallowing pills or other things, don't you? Uh, yes, the most frequent is uh, the stomach-related uh, issue. They have mm -hmm. intolerance. Uh, they end up having ulcers, uh, and they do not want to take a pill. Even though the medication is very appropriate for the condition, uh, we can take the active ingredients and put them in a transdermal uh, dosage form, transdermal cream, gel. Uh, they just apply straight to the site where it's needed the most. And the most important thing is folks can call you, right? If they have any questions, any ideas, just give you a call. Yes, they can come to us. We provide free consultation, uh, and we work with their physician to come up with the, the right dosage uh, for their patient. And if you'd like to learn more, Care Pharmacy is located in Danville. You can give them a call, 434-792-8281. And we'll be right back.